Hi, she was seven. I'm back. Okay, so I got a video request again to do a video on dating. Should you date a married man? Okay, um, this lady wrote a question, and I'm not gonna say her name, but um, I don't know if she want me to or not. But she's saying she met this guy. He's married. He's really nice. Um, he asked her out, but he is married, and she's she keeps turning him down, turning him down, but. I think she wants to date him and she likes him and should she go out with him and you know blah 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 and will he ever leave his wife should you date a married man is this going anywhere okay this happens to many women they meet this nice guy they like him they fall for him but he's married like he's like would be the perfect man except he's married right <clears throat> so when a man comes on to you and he's married, first of all, that says he doesn't respect his marriage. He isn't, he thinks he can get away with cheating. He's not, he doesn't believe in monogamy. So if a man approaches you like that and you are interested, but you say no because he's married and you explain to him that and he still comes after you, well, that means he's ready to have what's coming to him okay y'all and when i mean when i say that and that's an open invitation to steal him from his wife and i'm not trying to be rude i know a lot of women are going to be mad at me but if your husband goes out looking for other women and she turns him down and he still goes after her he does not respect you and he's giving her an invitation to get him to leave you okay so let me tell you <clears throat> so ladies don't be mad because I'm going to give two parts of the story, okay? One is not going to be moral and one is going to be like, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that. But I'm going to tell y'all, women do steal husbands and I'm going to tell y'all how they do it. And if you're one of those women who want to steal a husband, well, just keep listening, okay? <laughs> so first of all, if you're, if you're going to be a uh, person that's dating a married man, you have to get it in your mind right now. No hoping, no wishing that he's going to leave his wife. You have to, you have to take control of the situation. There's, you don't leave anything up to him. Okay. If you want to be his wife, his next wife, or you want him to leave his wife, you have to take control of this whole situation. You don't leave it in his hands. Okay. Because now this is uh, your boyfriend, your future, your destiny. And if you're leaving it in his hands, He's not going to do anything. He's not going to leave his wife. He's going to have both of you. So if you want this man, you have to take him. You got to take what you want in this world. And you have to be adamant about it. Okay? <clears throat> not married ladies. Don't get mad. I'm just answering the question. Okay? So say you date a guy who's married for the first few dates or whatever. And he's like, and he starts talking bad about his wife and why he don't want to be with her and why he needs to date outside of his marriage and you just listen mm -hmm, uh -huh. and what's so and ask him what's so special about me would you marry someone like me if you hadn't married your wife and if he says yes that's another green light that he wants out of his marriage okay and he's 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 too chicken to do it himself so basically he wants you to do it for him okay and then you know ask about the kids do you have kids are they young how would they feel if you left da, 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 da. and listen to his story Okay, and he's probably going to be telling a bunch of lies, but listen to the story. And if he says, well, I don't want to leave because this, 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 and that, and blah, 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 blah. I said, well, then you would be like, well, uh, what, what would your wife do if she caught you cheating? Would she take your son away from you? Would, you, would y'all get divorced? Would you be on child support? Could you afford that? Blah, 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 blah. Put all that in his brain, you know, get all, get all. If he can afford it, if he can afford the child support, if he can afford the divorce, if he can afford all that, would he lose out? Would he have to like downsize could he sp still spend money will he be broke get all that out on the table like discuss it don't be afraid because he's there guilty already okay so he should be able to discuss it so if he's like oh I don't want to talk about that it's like well, well you brought it up you know I'm sitting here dating a, dating a married man I need to know these things okay so get all that out on the table and if he doesn't feel like talking about it just like well you know then I really can't see you anymore because I, I'm not going to sit here blind in the dark. I don't know what your plans are. You could be stringing me along. I'm just, I, I, I don't want to do it. So if he says, okay, fine, you know, and then y'all talk about it. So you have all this information now. You know, if he left his wife, he would be broke or not. 
it wouldn't break them or it would break them. So then you go from there. You say, okay, is it really worth me dating this guy? And he gets divorced and he can't afford nothing. I end up taking care of him. He ain't got a place to live. Da, da, da. If he's broke without his wife, don't even bother with him. Okay. So y'all, you go back to your wife. Okay. You can't afford to leave her. Okay. Make him feel stupid. Okay. Make him feel dumb for trying to cheat and can't even afford it to cheat or lose his wife because you know, he could get caught any second she can divorce him and then he's out on the street okay so don't even mess with broke guys who can't afford to cheat okay now if you get a man with money and he's got a man and he's got a wife and he can't afford to divorce and all that kind of stuff then that's when you take it more seriously you're like mm hmm interesting okay blah 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 blah, blah. listen to all of his excuses and then you know if you want this person take it upon yourself to get them because sometimes people are married when you meet them and they could be the one for you and only a piece of paper and some un and some broken vows are in the way, you know. And I know people are going to say, well, what about the kids? People leave their kids every day. People still have families. People still see their children. Some get uh, joint custody, da, 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 da. We know all that. Especially if they're older kids. It's not that big of a deal if they're older. Now, younger kids, yeah, I can see that's pretty sad. And I... As a, as a woman, you shouldn't want to break up a family with young children, okay? So if you're, if you're focused on that, then don't, if it's going to make you feel guilty, don't even do it, okay? But if this guy's older, his children are grown, or has, you know, in high school about to graduate and all that kind of stuff, then I don't see that big of a problem with it. So what I'm saying is you have to take it upon yourself. You have to go the extra mile. You have to make him uncomfortable to stay there with her. You gotta let her know what's going on. You gotta call her. Hey, um, I hate to be the one to bring you some bad news, but you know, your husband and I have been dating since da 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 da. -da. He tells me he just tell everything. Tell everything. He, you know, he says um, this, this, and that. And I just want to know if you knew about all of this. And I don't. I'm not trying to bring any, you know, drama into your life. I just wanted you to know because if I was married, I would want to know. Be cool, you know. And if she gets mad at you and cusses you out and da 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 I say, well, you know, um, you know, we were making plans for the future. Tell her all that. We're making plans for the future, and I just didn't want you to be surprised at when, you know, something happens. She, when he gets home or when she sees him again, she's going to be mad. She's going to be the one to divorce him. He's not going to have to do anything. As long as she knows what's going on. You were, you know, you told her. Now, if she's one of those women who are like, well, you're not going to get my man, da 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 and, and fights for him, she's not going to be giving him sex. She's not going to be doing any of that thing. She's going to be treating him like trash. So at this point, you can you can also convince him to start leaving because she's giving him the worst treatment ever. And <clears throat> he already, she already knows it's not going to improve. If he can afford to leave, he's not going to stay there. And, you know, that's truly how easy it is, you know. But there are, um, there are a lot of people who uh, will fight for their man, even if they don't even want him anymore, just to keep him and treat him like trash. They will keep him and treat him like trash because he cheated on her. So this is going to make him want to leave even more. So as long as you keep, you know, being with him and say, you know what, let's just go. Let's just go. You need to move out. We can get a nice apartment, you know, blah, 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 blah. We can get a nice town home. You don't have to deal with that, you know, because, you know, Blah, 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 blah. And if he still is not going to budge, if he's still stuck, you, you need to give him the ultimatum. You need to be like, you know what? I will still date you. We can still go out. We can hang out. But I'm going to start dating other guys too because I do want to you know, eventually uh, get married and have kids of my own. And you're still stuck in yours and you're not going anywhere anytime soon. But, you know, we can still be friends. We can hang out. But I'm going to start dating other people, okay? So when you're with your wife um, and, and family and stuff like that, I'm going to be out dating because I can't sit here and wait on you forever, okay? So, and his wife's treating him like trash already because she knows he's cheating. If he can afford to leave, he's going to be thinking about it the whole time that he's there being mistreated. Then he's going to be thinking about you dating other people and if you're the one that he's supposed to be with, really, and blah, 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 blah. So this is all going to be in his head, okay? And... Make sure you go out somewhere where his friends hang out and so they can see you with another man and call him and tell him because a lot of the friends are in on men cheating on their wife. They already know. So make sure, like, if you meet any of his friends, know where they hang out, go out, be seen out, let his friend call him and tell him, okay? Do all of that. Do everything you can do. And then 
when it comes down to it, when he says, okay, I'm finally, like, I'm going to leave my wife, but I have to go through this divorce and blah, 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 blah. Then be like, okay, that's nice, you know. Uh, I'm so glad that you left and, you know, I'm glad that you see that we should be together and blah, 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 blah. And a lot of women are going to be like, or a lot of men are going to be like, well, if he cheated on his wife, he's going to cheat on you and da, 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 da. Okay. Well, and when it comes down to that, if you think he's trying to cheat on you because he cheated on his wife, all you got to do is say one thing. I'm not your wife. And if you cheat on me, I will cheat on you back. And if I cheat on you back, I will, I'll end up leaving you for another man. I'll do what you did to her. So don't even try it here. Okay, it's not going to work. <laughs> and I will take half your money. And I will do this. And I will do that. And I will do everything that, you know, that this wife didn't do. You don't know. You know, you don't know crazy. You know. And then you have to kind of scare them into not cheating on you. So, <clears throat> it's like, I stayed with you while you were married. I waited. I did this. I did that. If you cheat on me, don't sleep with your eyes closed. Okay, like scare the hell out of them. Okay, and they people, men like crazy for some reason. They think it's attractive. I don't know, but anyway. So make a long story short. Yes, you have to take the initiative. If you start dating a married man, and you really want him, and he's like seriously thinking about leaving his wife, or he says he is, that's invitation for you to go call his wife. Okay, and I don't care what what people say. If he's telling you, if he's talking trash about his wife to you and you like him and he's spilling his feelings out to you and you're supposed to care for him then you're going to try to help him get out of that situation right and when he if he comes to you and like why did you call my wife why did you do this blah 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 well i thought you were crying out for help i'm trying to help you you said you want to leave i'm trying to help you leave like play play his own words against him be like you said you want to leave you said you weren't happy i'm trying to get i'm trying to get you to be free i'm trying to free you well, you're not supposed to do that. Don't get into my business. I said, well, don't get into my business. If you come to me crying about your unhappy married life, what do you expect me to do? I mean, I like you. We're dating. I'm trying to help you. You know, <laughs> play the stupid role. And then and he'll be like, well, I don't want to see you anymore. And I said, well, you shouldn't have been trying to ask me out in the first place. You're married. Okay. If you're happily married, then stay happily married. Don't come to me talking trash about your wife. I'm going to go call her, and I'm going to try to help you. Okay, that's just the kind of person I am. I'm trying to help you be happy. And they're going to be like, oh, man, this lady's crazy. Okay, so basically the whole point of the story is if you want your married man, go tell his wife, make his life a living hell at home so that he is forced to leave. Okay, and if she's the kind of woman that doesn't want to let him go, She's going to still be treating him like trash and he's going to leave on his own. So you got to step in. You have to step in all the way, all the way. You got to get up in there. You got to be the, the other family member. <laughs> you got to be crazy. You know, in this world, you got to break rules. You got to step outside of the box to get what you want in life. And like I said, I don't recommend this for people with young children trying to break up families and stuff. I don't recommend this. No, I don't. Um, you know because I'm a mother and I wouldn't want that to happen to me, you know. But if the woman finds out and leaves anyway, there is nothing you can do about it. And obviously he's financially uh, stable enough to take care of that as well. So, you know, don't go for a man who could be broke without his wife, okay? And most men don't want to leave a wife who depends on them. So if, if his wife has a job, a career, is financially independent without him, it will be easier. But if she doesn't work and she stays home and she takes care of kids, he ain't going nowhere. Like he's not. <laughs> so you got you got to pick and choose carefully who you're dating. Now, if you just want to date a married man for fun to see how it is, fine, whatever. But know that it's not going to lead you anywhere unless you take the initiative to take what you want in life. Um, so I'm just I'm just putting it out there. I'm probably gonna do like a part two to this and talk about. You know other things like why married men date outside their marriage and um, why they don't leave their wives okay I'm, that's gonna be part two okay this is part one this is the the ones this is the video for the women who are gonna do what they're gonna do regardless and I can't tell you not to okay so married ladies don't be mad at me y'all please okay cuz I'm married too okay I'll see y'all on part two coming up soon all right Bye.